uh, I just received my final version of two new uh, by trimming tools and here they are and I want to compare what the difference I made for the, uh, the final version so from this here you can see that it's slightly shorter because um, we we don't need such a long stem here so I'll cut it short and uh, use a, a longer uh, post to install it too so this is the final version um, I think it looks more beautiful for the final version compared with the previous one and uh, also this the new uh, I call it D shape the shape looks like a D and this is the original one and uh, I made it slightly wider and the curve slightly straighter and slightly wider so this is the final version of the D shape loop tools and they are all made of a uh, tungsten carbide and again I'm gonna do the uh, test for the new ones as usual so first I will test the hardness of the, the carbide tools and this one is the chuck that has been brisk See that it's been brisk and I'm going to use that to trim okay it's a lot of powder so just to say to, to show you the powder so that it can trim through the best wear and this one to here right you can cut it cut the uh, best wear easily And the powder actually is not good, so I am going to uh, add a little bit of water to it. Not good for your health. So. so the powder is not flying, but you can see the powder is coming through. The disc clay is coming through here right so that is for trimming the bisque chuck and let's see after trimming the bisque chuck, chuck and how sharp it is to hold the, the edge so we're going to use that to cut through the tree branch and you see that it's very easy to cut through still staying very sharp because that is constant carbide and the uh, seven shape easily All right so that is the demonstration so both tungsten carbide tool are very hard material and it can cut through pretty much everything other than diamond or the carbide by itself. But other than that, you can cut through the uh, groggy clay, bone dry clay, anything that uh, it's hard for the uh, reg regular uh, material like stainless steel or high carbon steel tool that is very hard to take care of it but Thompson Carbide could do that. Okay, now let's uh, use both two or two, test the actual piece. And I have a ball that has been drying on the drier side of the bone dry stage. OK, 
okay that's pretty good i didn't even didn't even use the tap center room just you the use the guideline here to check my center and that was pretty, pretty good right first i would didn't use the uh, seven shape uh, shape looks like a seven so i call it seven shape And it's cutting that, so I create like a butter. Because my tool, I like it. I like them I'm very sharp, sharp tool. It's much better for trimming your clay. So usually I keep my, even my regular stainless steel tool. I I use a file to sharpen them before I start to trim. Okay, so this is the seven shape. Let me use the D shape. Shape like a D. D from this angle, D. From the top angle, looks like a D. Um, I intentionally designed so that the corner is a little bit sharper than the uh, most of the loop uh, tool. So that you could take care of the corner here, the very corner, because the very sharp corner you could do the sharp corner on your full rings. And here on the inside, See that corner is much sharper because it was designed to get the very sharp corner. And you see when you're using the, the loop tools, my fingers, my index finger, right index finger is holding the head and also my left thumb is breathing. So you can, when your tool is numb, vibrated or not getting too loose, you don't get the unwanted chattering mark. And also you don't need to spin the wheel super fast, just the uh, regular speed. Right, you see that corner sharper because the corner of this D shape is sharper. Okay, so with shape two, can also do the corner sharper too. So by now I have four shapes of uh, loop style tools. 
I have the uh, pear shape on the square shape, D shape and seven shape. And they are all good for trimming depending on what the uh, what purpose you are going to or what uh, what curve are you going to take care of it or what position are you taking care of it square shape So you see that when I'm trimming, I don't create any unwanted chattering mark because the key is that you want to brace the brace your fingers together on the head so that your tool is not jumping, not vibrating. But in case if you want the the unpurposed chattering mark, what do you do? You want to do quite opposite way that you hold the tool longer and hold your tool loosely, spin the wheel faster, and you can get the uh, chattering mark. Let me do the demonstration. Hold it longer and speed, speed up the wheel. Now you see that I trigger the vibration and I just follow the uh, vibration and just cut it down. Once you trigger the uh, the jumping, and the tool is vibrating, and then uh, you got uh, the chattering mark. That is that easy. That is very easy to manipulate if you want to do the on purpose chattering mark. And all the tool you can do that the same way, like the seven shape. I want to do the chattering here. I hold it longer and I don't brace it. I speed up the wheel. And once I, uh, I got to uh, trigger the uh, vibration, now there's a vibration, and I just follow the uh, vibration down. And you see that there's a chatter bug there. Right? So if you clay, my clay is slightly on the drier side, if you have a softer clay, you probably end up with getting your chattering mark even deeper. Okay, so that is how you how you do the chattering if you want to do on purpose chattering. Um, if you don't want the chattering, just make sure you hold to the head, hold it firmly, and uh, that way you won't get any chattering mark at all. Right? You hold it really closer to the head, and you don't have the chattering mark. Okay, so that is the demonstration. I'm making trimming this ball using my new tools. Here are the new tools and my old one for shapes. Um, the cleanup is very, also very easy. All you need to do is just suck, suck the head of a, it's not going to get rusty, so just suck the head of a, the carbide plate and then uh, Use a sponge to just wipe it clean. Now, now remember the tool is very sharp, so try not to use a finger to touch the blade.
by the way, um, this tool will be available initially on my Squarespace shop if you live in the U.S. And if you live overseas, just let me know and I can send you a link so you could get it from my other shop. So thanks for watching and see you next time.